Hi everyone, this is Rajeshekar Bhagavatala from Marvel Chess Academy. Welcome to my series of chess lectures. In the previous lecture, we have learnt about queen moves. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the knight moves. The knight goes in an L shape or a 7 shape. As you can see, this knight on e5 can go two steps straight and then take a turn left or right. Same in other direction. Let's say two steps down, left or right. Same towards left, two straights and a turn. Two straights to the two steps to the right and then a turn. So if you see keenly, it looks like an L. So the L shape. A knight at the center of the board can control about eight squares on the board. Let's see if you can write all the square names where this knight on b8 can move. Feel free to pause the video and come up with your answer. Yes, the knight can move to a6, c6 and d7. Let's move on to the next one. Can you write down all the squares where this knight can move? The knight can move to e7, g7, h6, h4, g3, e3, d4, and d6. Let's move on to the next one. Can you write the answers for this puzzle? Yes, the answer is C6, E6, F5, F3, E2, C2, B3 and B5. Let's move on. Now we are going to learn about captures. A knight can capture an opponent's pawn or a piece by moving on L shape, it can only capture where it can land. And knight has a unique ability to jump over pieces when its path is blocked. In this example, there are pawns on D5 and E7. These pawns will not move. Let us plan ahead and try to capture a pawn in every move. Here, the knight first takes the pawn on d5 by moving two strips straight and then taking a left turn. So knight takes d5 again two steps straight and then a turn to the right. So knight takes e7. Let's move on to the next puzzle. Try and see if you can write down the answer for this problem. The knight takes first the pawn on e6 by moving two straight and a turn. So knight takes e6 and then again two steps straight and a turn. So knight takes c7 and then two steps straight down and then turn. So knight takes b5. Let's move on to the next one. Can you please pause the video and come up with the answer? Yes, the answer is Knight takes f4, knight takes e6, knight takes d4, and knight takes c6. Let's move on to the next one. Feel free to pause the video. With this black knight, you have to capture all the white pawns. Note, you have to capture a pawn in every move and the pawns will not move. Yes, the answer is knight takes b4, knight takes d3, knight takes b2, knight takes c4, and knight takes d6. Let's move on to the next one. Please feel free to pause the video and come up with the answer. Yes, the answer is knight takes c3, knight takes e2, knight takes d4, 
knight takes f3 knight takes e5 knight takes g4 knight takes f6 and then knight takes h5 let's move on to the next one please write down your answers and pause the video yes the answers are knight takes e2 knight takes g3 knight takes e4 knight takes g5 and knight takes e6 let's move on to the next one have you come up with the answer the answer is knight takes e6 knight takes f4 knight takes g6 knight takes e5 knight takes g4 knight takes f6 knight takes e4 and then knight takes g5 let's move on can you please feel free to pause the video and write down your answer i hope you have come up with the answer the answer to this problem is knight takes e7 knight takes d5 knight takes b6 knight takes c4 knight takes d2 knight takes e4 and knight takes d6 so i hope you have learned the knight moves and captures so let us meet in the next lesson and we will try to learn about the pawn moves thank you